Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Yes, we are back with the second Game of Thrones video. Of course, this is part two of episode one. If you haven't seen part one, you can go and watch it. You don't have to though. Uh, basically today, we're going to be picking off where we left off. We're going down to King's Landing. And uh, yeah, we're going to be seeing the Forester member who's down at King's Landing. Now guys, before I continue the episode, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched the first one. I didn't think it would perform as well as it did. I didn't think people would watch it through to the end and they did. And I'm so glad you guys are liking it because I am loving this series. I'm going to be doing all the episodes episodes of this series plus more telltale games so if you guys want to see more content like this in the future make sure you hit the sub button and uh yeah let's uh let's jump into it now guys um for the people who watch my regular content that's around 10 minutes this is not the same this is going to be longer let's play style videos so uh there's yeah warning all right here we go king's landing can help us although just a handmaiden she has marjorie tyrell's favor and Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Oh shit, so we're gonna see Marjorie, heh <laughs> Good old Natalie Dorman, heh <laughs> Yeah, she's pretty hot, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it. Okay, all right, let's have a look at this iron box, eh? So it seems like what we gotta do is we gotta try and prevent the Boltons from fucking up our kingdom because they pissed that dude off. <laughs> Oh god, I've really dug myself a hole here. Alright, so um we're, we're looking in a box, eh? Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Ethan made this for me. Okay, so we're we're, we're in a missing right now. Okay. Uh what's this? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. Is that from High Garden, did it say? Elena. Hmm. Elena, everyone's favorite person. God, she's an evil lady. She's badass, though. I'll, I'll give her that. All right. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. What's in here? Dusty old Wonders doom. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. That's very nice of I you. I hope to see them all someday. Okay, okay. Can we jump off the window? Out the window? That seems to be a thing King's that Landing. they do at King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Okay, okay. Uh, what else are we looking for? What's this letter from Mother? <laughs> My phone going off? No. It troubles go, me go to away, even phone. ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. Ooh. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Alrighty. Um, so this is going to be a little harder than I thought. <laughs> But uh, nah, nah, we got this. We got this, fam. You know, we're gonna we're gonna clean up our we're gonna make up for our own mistakes here. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. I would very much like that. Actually, nah, we'll let him in. We'll be nice. No, it's fine. Come in. Why is he so dirty? Is he a little? Is he a, is he a slave or? Looks pretty depressed. What's he looking at? Pardon, lady, but you're all right. Yeah, stop if these dropping up. My asking, I'm fine. Upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, uh, you might be a spy. Please you never know. You can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Yeah, hurry. You got one job. Don't fuck it up. You work for Lady Marjorie. Well, duh. I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm a handmaid. I'm a handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Haha, <laughs> the Cersei? good old Royal Sept. Oh, not Cersei. It makes me makes me sick. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but. He is an eavesdropper, I know it. definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but 
I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? It's already a bit of disagreement going on. Cersei's probably like, bad them. But I thought you ought to know. Thank you. Most this information will prove call for good. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. I told you guys he was an eavesdropper. You hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Exactly. I knew it. Good night, my lady. Good night. It's the middle of the day. What's he on about? Natalie Dorman. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Is that Natalie Dorman voice acting? I'm, I'm actually not sure. I can't really remember From the day you arrived sounded. in Highgarden, I've thought of you it is. as a friend it surely it is. my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What very sympathetic. Is beyond imagining. Yeah, she's, very a, she's a nice lady. lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. So he's going to try and fuck this up for us. To what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. Oh, here we go. What did she say? She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Oh shit, I'm already gonna get hanged. I'm she gonna get hanged. She was pleased with herself. Why, her why would she do that? Of mirth, she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but what she's waiting for What have I told before? I promised I would bring you to her. I for my dumb fuck you brother? You not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding what? so near. What, what do, do I, I do say? say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Also, for the wedding? Oh, we already know how that shit's going to go down. the agent is ready to receive us. What are you looking at? You'll be mm. fine. I know you will. I don't know, Cersei's so pretty twisted. Thing, but you must say another. See, she's saying I should keep my calm in front of Cersei, but I don't... I don't think I can do that. Good luck. She's been a bitch, and I need to I need to put her in a place. <laughs> and it's gonna fuck everything up if I do that. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be hard to fight the temptation, I'm telling you right now. Is that my boy Tyrion? You can do this. I know I can. All right, here we go. All right. Hopefully Tyrion sticks up for me. Is that Tyrion? I think it's Tyrion. Yeah, my boy. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? Hmm. Here we With go. She's going to... Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Oh, this is the this is gonna go down. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll kneel before. I'll start off being respectful. Your grace. Then we'll uh, we'll roast her. her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Yeah, of course she's gonna say that. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. Oh. I want to hear from the girl. She's being a bitch. What's normal? Is your normal? family loyal to the king? As usual. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. Yes, Your Grace. Yeah. Yep, we definitely king. serve the king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. Ooh. She only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. 
I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would Excuse give her the me, bitch. Explain, perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. They are not traitors, yeah. Let's we'll say it. Let's we'll say it. Just noble. fucking say it. Oh. Not traitors, your grace. <sighs> noble. <sighs> for a northern house. But now, now they're merely dead. Is your house yeah, willing I know it to swear satisfy. fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Bolton? Yeah, let's wreck it. Let's just wreck it. Do it, do it, do it. Your grace. <sighs> and proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forester. We'll agree. Forrester, we'll say I yes. Yes, your grace. Her. All right, we'll say we'll agree. Yes, we'll disagree. Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Mm. Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. Mm. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Yeah, bitch. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Mm. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? No. No. I won't, I won't judge, judge her. her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Mm. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, Ooh. what would you do then? She going after Marjorie as well. I'm sure she Let would. the girl answer the question. Go on. I must yeah, use fuck Marjorie, you. your grace. I serve at her pleasure. Ooh. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. Yeah, well guess what? She do is something. a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most Ooh. dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, your grace. Maybe I went too hard. Marjorie's like, just, just don't do it. And I did it. What up, my boy? I'll walk you out. This oh, may thanks, come Tyrion. as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These Thank will be you. trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Oh, crap. These are Dunga. trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must hmm. still answer to the crown. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone it so was hard. Quite the first impression. I of I course wasn't found it trying all highly to entertaining. Of course, I he found entertaining. To I think that was clear to everyone. Oh, my sister and I have our differences, 
She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. Yeah, she can't do crown shit. Boats. boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help mm. my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although Perfect. what would be amusing for me <laughs> might prove rather dangerous for you and <laughs> your house. Are you willing to risk that? Yeah, boy. It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. I'll do it. Let's just do Please. it. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner. That's right, Sansa's in uh, Three King's Landing. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The I hope we thought meet again. Makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Hmm. Gotta love Tyrion. He's just... The, he is the shit. Right, he's one of my favorite Game of Thrones characters, by far, one of the best. And uh, spoilers, now that he's with Daenerys, he just, he's, he's the fucking, he's the shit. <laughs> Mira, I was worried. How was it? Yeah, fun. He has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. Uh, it, it went, went well, well, yeah, it went great. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Yep, she's uh she's a real pain in the ass, that's have for sure. Spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, <sighs> glad Sir to know Jamie. that way. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, Ooh. what? It's true. She's into Jamie. She's into and Jamie. Over in Martell, the Red Viper. Yeah, you I'm know he's uh, he, he's not someone you want to go with. I, I know how that's going to end. He's quite handsome and quite passionate, from what I've heard. He also Perhaps has trouble seeing now. Make the right Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? <laughs> Fuck no. He he's a little have bitch. A certain look about him, and Not he's Joffrey. always treated Lady Marjorie well. He's a, he's a little more than you can say. He's a little mother. faggot. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah, but you gotta be married to that I little. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what about How Matt? could you? How could you? Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? We already know who Brienne's gonna get with. Well... Uh, uh I'm sorry, I'm my, sorry lady. my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. A Allies battle plan? can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. It's fucking seating arrangements, not a battle plan. Rather disappointed by ah, the here we go. Uh, I'm just glad it's over. I'm, I'm sorry, Things Natalie Dorman. I'm sorry. Sometimes. There's always someone to please <clears> or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Yes. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> your words I am really fucking this brave. game up. 
but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Yeah. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Yeah, we'll ask her for help. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Ooh. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. I better hope not. It's about my family. Ooh. I trust her. We'll let her stay. If this bites me in the ass, though, I'm gonna fuck Sarah up. Go on. Ask. Could you stop the Boltons? Yeah, we'll go with that one. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I yeah, he's a little dick. ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Please, Marjorie, that you gotta help me. Request, especially now. Marjorie, you, you gotta help me. Only too well, your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. What the fuck? My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King. Sirius are being a bitch politics. here. I hope you can understand that. My family's gonna die. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank, Thank you, you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Also, Sarah, you're a bitch. You should you didn't even take my side. Damn. The nerf on that lady is just ugh. Alrighty, back with my boy now. Heading towards the wall. The fuck? Okay, apparently something's going on. Seven elves. Uh, House Bolton. Are they they're torturing someone? What the fuck? Let's play a little game, shall we? Ramsey. Oh. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? God, he's a twisted <laughs> fuck. All right, we uh, we cannot get caught by Ramsey. Like Not seriously, dude, Ramsey is just a, he's a piece. He is a piece I of work. I have fallen out of practice, but he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. Oh, hi again. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He Jesus Christ. How, How much further is it? We can't get caught. We can't get caught. We are fucked. Foresters. Day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Shh. Listen. Mm. Oh no. Hear that? No, 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 no. I know I heard something. Stay still. Stay still. They don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here. They might have heard the horse. They might have heard the horse. Never mind. Oh. We've wasted enough time already. If I ran, I would have got fucked. Damn, that was a close call, man. You don't want to fuck with Ramsey, I'm telling you. He will feed me to the dogs. Oh.
I actually want to see what he looks like. Probably just completely cut open, I'm presuming. Is there anyone I know? Bloody hell. Oh, fuck. No skin at all on him. Damn. That is just... What? Yeah, nah, it's not gonna go good when Ramsey rocks up at my, uh, Lord Ethan, at my home. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair. Yeah, wise. why are you telling me why this, are you hey? Telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester Bye. traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Is he gonna make me choose between him and the military, dude? Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! Ah, oh boy, here we go. We're gonna have to make some tough calls here. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Here we go, we can't be brutal or we cannot be brutal. I just gonna make Lord an impression Ethan. in front of my sister, Next. and if I don't do it, they'll think I'm a pussy and Who is I'm this like man? Oh. This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all yeah. fucking know it! Quiet thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead oh, we caught boy. him stealing. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us? You stole from us? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I have a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's I mean, I can't pain? blame him. Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Stop being a dick. Your military do, she's being a bit of an Ethan, asshole. I know these words are hard. I need the people to honest, trust me. I need the people to trust me. We'll never survive the coming winter. Together we'll survive. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. You'll it's got a fair point. Lord. Yeah, it's military guys being a bit of a dick. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief. Yep, here we go. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Yeah, we need to gain the men's trust. We can't kill him. Please. Their lord will not permit it. He can send him to the war. And if I do anything rash in front of my sister, she's going to think I'm a piece of shit. Yep. <coughs> All right, here we go, guys. Take his fingers. He's a thief. Oh. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. You'll be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. Show him mercy, send him to the me. wall, take it in three things. <sighs> We're gonna show him mercy, guys. Uh, the military goo is gonna be like, you're a fucking pussy, you shouldn't be in charge. But the people might trust me, my sister will think it's alright, cool. So I think we're gonna go with show him mercy. That's oh, probably the best way. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. What the Lord people are saying? Don't kill him! And then the fucking... Oh. Lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He's still a forester. He serves House Forester and deserves our protection. He's a yeah, rat in our grain stores. How about I get you executed, you piece of shit? Lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, 
I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Ah, uh, but I feel like people think that they can get away with it now and then people might start doing shit. Fuck! I'm sorry, just... <laughs> Every choice in these games that fucks you over one so way or another. Unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Was I right? Mister, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty Mister. shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust. He keeps yourself. pushing the senatal thing on me like he wants it. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Oh, fuck, I'll choose you, okay? I get what you're fucking saying. Me? Oh, God, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. Not the military, Dick. Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. I pretty much already decided of the Sentinel. I'm not doing the, the military guy. Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your right. Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Alright, so we have to make a decisive decision between who to choose. I'm pretty certain I already know who I don't want to choose, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what they have to say, I guess. Hey, he's looking at me like he wants it, the piece of shit. Mm. Alrighty. Oh, what are you doing? Hey. That's a really sharp sword you got there. Nice, nice talk there. Yep, great talk. Great, great, great talk. Okay, um... Well, where's the first dude I was gonna talk to? Fuck it, we'll just talk to the military dick. Was it Duncan? I can't remember who it is we really have to... Oh, fuck it, we'll just go... Ah, no, we've already spoken to the maester. Ah, we're going in circles. Talk to the maester once you've finished exploring. Okay. Come on, you dogs. Not Fuck it. We'll talk to him. We'll talk to him. Sword up. Swing left. <sighs> Let's talk to him. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need a sentinel. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And my nah. man behind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority. And made you look weak to the White Hills. That's a fair point, though. But at the same time, so, you're a bit of a piece I of shit. Father would be proud. I haven't made my decision yet, but I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight. Tonight. At the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Mm, I don't think Sir Roland's the man for the job, but he does have a point. The other guy did actually send our brother to the wall. But at the same time, I guess, you know, he kind of needed to get out of there. All right, we'll talk to Duncan. I forgot it was Duncan who I had to talk to. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider. You face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Uh, yeah, we'll ask him about sentinels. Name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, 
Who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Hmm. Would you want to be the Sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for him over Sir Roland. Sir Roland just seems like a bit of a dick, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I think my decision's pretty much solidified. We'll see if it changes, but yeah, nah, fuck. Fuck Duncan. He's, uh... <laughs> not fuck Duncan. Fuck Sir Roland. He's a dick. You're all worthless and weak. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. All right, here we go. We're going to make our big decision. Disappoint a lot of people and make a lot of bad choices. That's uh, that's how this game goes. Ah, oh, boy. You guys ready to see the disappointment in Sir Roland's face? I know I am. Sir Roland's probably like, oh, he's gonna choose me. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. You're both worthy. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only mm. choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Don't be so fucking impatient, Many Sir Roland. Either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Yeah, look at his grumpy ass look. Yeah, Duncan. <laughs> look, he's like, look, give it to me, give it to me. But then I'm like, nah, Duncan I'm giving Cattle, it to Duncan. You will be my sentinel. Watch him get what? pissed. What? This, this is reckless. Lord what? Ethan has made his choice. He's so mad. <laughs> I will not disappoint you, my lord. Oh, I saw that coming. Now. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scout says only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. <clears throat> he's barely he any troops. What he's capable of. We need to prepare for the worst. We'll deal with him. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. I actually kind of agreeing. The lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. But then you got a point there, Duncan. He cannot be trusted. Shit. The bloody small council. Don't interrupt Lord the Sentinel. Ethan deserves to hear Ugh. from all of us. I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Yeah, bitch. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Mm. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we Let's hope they do have come up. If Mira's efforts are not successful. If they're not, I we should... Mira's judgment. Mm. I don't doubt she did everything within her What do you recommend? Yeah, we'll go, what do you recommend? What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Yeah. He's a, he's a dangerous man. an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mm. I want to stab Ramsey so bad, but since this is with a TV show, there's no way I can actually kill him. Mm. We're just going to use diplomacy. We'll use diplomacy. I favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a... Reasonable agreement. If that doesn't work out, we'll stab him in the fucking back. All right, Sir Roland. You then you get your shot. Fight. You're bound to lose when one breaks out. 
Who said I'm not going to be ready to fight? His opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Yes, yeah, Sir Roland. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You Not yet. Him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. I sort of agree with that. Yeah, we'll make him wait at the gates. We're gonna go to show a bit of power before we let him in. We need to kind of, you know, show him that we don't fuck around us foresters. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Sir Roland? Forgive me, my lord. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. You Your piece of shit. Get, all killed. Get out. Get out. You'll regret that, my lord. Is being a piece of shit now. All right, I agreed with his gate shit, and he throws it back in my face. Does he want to be beheaded? Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that Take. it is settled, we know what we must do. You will yep. meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. Nope, and we don't can't. Worry, Lord Ethan, I will stand beside you where your sentinel belongs. <clears throat> then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your Bike. brother, Asha? You want to bring him back? But he's going he's to the wall already. Fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. Now we can't he bring him back. You and your sister. I hear what you're saying, but he you. needs to team up with Jon yes, Snow. I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. Mm. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. Nah. You have many fine qualities. But we don't need do Asher. That anger inside you. How I dare you? To do what must be done. I don't need my brother to do it for me. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. Hmm. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. But I'm the Lord. You gotta answer to me. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. And do what? <clears throat> Fine, we'll send Malcolm. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Fine. It's a dumb decision. He should be going to the wall. He I'm should be with Jon Snow. I want to see my boy Jon. Know that but, you never mm. alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. <sighs> I can't please anyone in this fucking game. There's always someone when I do something that's like, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're an idiot. All right, Lage Marjorie. It's chambers. All right. Uh, sorry, guys, just doing a quick stretch. That's if anyone's actually watched this far. If you guys have, you guys are legends. Ooh. 
Ooh, take the seal. That means I might be able to forge Marjorie. Shit. Fuck yeah. Marjorie will be pissed if she finds out though. What's that? Strange key. Pick up. Fuck it. I'm taking Marjorie's shit. I'm going to be a bitch. I'm, I'm like, normally I'm pretty sympathetic and stuff. But this time I'm kind of like, fuck, who cares? Uh, actually, nah, we'll return the key. Don't want to make it obvious that everything's disappeared. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. You were a bitch. You did not stick up for me before, Sarah. Sarah, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to help you if there's anything I can oh. do. Oh, you want to help now, huh? Family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Oh, Marjorie looks pissed. What's up? What's up, Marjorie? <clears throat> She'll say that we ca she my can't lady, help my family. I'll leave you to talk. But I can forge it using the stamp of approval. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Yep, call it. This mended. God. We're going to fake it, though. We're going to fake it. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. What a I little cock! For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Oh, did Nothing I just fuck I that up? Cheer him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. Yeah. Wasn't smart. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now... We must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Oh, so does that mean we can fake the letter? I think that's what we can do. Oh shit, can I not get in? Did I, should I have taken the key? Begging your pardon, my lady. Uh, it's good to see you. Frighten you. Bit of a creep move there. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous, though. Right now, and for you as well. You needn't worry. But I want to get him hurt. I can take care of myself. I want you to get hurt, little cold boy. I don't want you to get hurt. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. You have, but I don't want you to get hurt, little cold boy. I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Where's he going? What the people fuck? be willing to help you. King's God. Mm. Uh, do we let him help us and then possibly get him killed? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm, the fuck's that Kingsguard looking at? Alrighty, so this should be near the end of the episode now. Um, pretty sure the recording, yep, uh, pretty much about to finish. Where's the Roylet? The man values pride more than honor. <clears throat> and without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if <sighs> I hope so. 
It's not looking good. Decision, my lord. It's not looking good, though. Here we go, boys. This is where the episode will cut off, I bet. Right before the Boltons get here. It's gonna happen, I'm telling you. Ramsey fucking Snow. Oh, and he's back with Fat Fuck. Hey, Fat Fuck. Something wrong with your gate. I'll open it when I decide to open it, mate. Yeah, this is not gonna go well. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Oh, I can't wait to smack no, talk you. This is a lovely place. Why are you cold? Mind. Are you cold? By the hurry. Are you cold? <laughs> yeah. You know I am a bit. Mm. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Thank you, my lord. Yeah, this is not going to go well, I'm telling you right now. A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsman. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your, Your father, father will appreciate it. it, I hope. Our Ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <gasps> How dare you? Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this. Yeah, fuck up. Shut up, you Whitehill fuck. So at least he sees our usefulness of our house. I want to try and stay on his good side, but at the same time, I want to be an absolute dick to him. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Yeah, we <laughs> we don't really have an army. Is that it? Or do we have any more scenes? Seems like this should be the last bit here right now. Are we gonna smack talk or are we gonna be, uh, are we gonna be rational? More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Leave my little brother alone, you little cuck. We really must focus on the business at hand. Leave, Leave them be. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah, worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolt. Ooh, the bend the knee shit. Here Words we go. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. I only Fuck kneel you. to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? Nah, then, I like to piss Ramsay off. I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Yeah, Here's there we go. I don't care. I've stirred up some shit. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised Ooh. as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? Nah, I might. That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's mm. a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. 
It was Are you fucking white kidding me? One White Hill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet you're your mistaken. Man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. Yeah. You a liar. You stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. Mm. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Oh boy. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? Oh, fuck. But that is our livelihood. Then you'd better no, you're not. find another fucking job. You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You but we're better now. craftsmen. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Yeah. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little Lord does have a point. Yeah, <laughs> you like fat this. fuck. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood and we'll see who fares better. But my Lord. Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... Twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. Yeah, this nah. will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Yeah, it's gonna cause shit here. Ah, fuck. My son, Griff. Griff. Let's Believe kill his son. Let's no murder right. his son. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. Oh, You're shit. Frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay. Is someone gonna yes. die? And you. Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? Oh, don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Yeah, no incest, please. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Always want Enough. Me. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord oh, Ramsay, that's fuck. Do you like hunting? Let her go. Oh, God. He's going to hunt her. Pretty, your sister. Grab her. You can fuck off. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? What the fuck? But I don't want the ball. No. What the fuck? Ethan! Ethan! No! What the fuck? I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the what the fuck? Kill him. If they give you any trouble. What the fuck? Lovely meeting all of you. Dude! Again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on to sell. Damn, Game of Thrones is unforgiving. What the fuck was that ending? What the fuck? Holy shit! Seriously, guys. Oh my god. Alright, next time on Game of Thrones, let's see what we got installed for the next episode, guys.
Damn. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't Ooh. let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all the wall. loyalties. <laughs> John Stone! Those who will not stop until Ethan is Ooh. We until can see Daenerys Ryan as well. Home again. Our house will not fall. We will be ready. Oh, we're going to war, Nothing boys! Cost, my lady. Yes! Are you prepared for what might happen? Damn, guys. Honestly, I did not see that plot twist coming. Holy crap. Holy crap. That was insane. I mean, Ethan was a little shit. He probably had it coming, but fuck. Damn. Alrighty, so we're just going to quickly review our choices for the episode. So, you and 34.2% left Bowen Bowen. Fuck. I feel bad about that, all right? You and 37.6% swore loyalty to Marjorie. Now, come on. It's Natalie Dorman. Are you not going to swear loyalty to her? Do you know? It's Natalie Dorman. <laughs> Alrighty. So, you and 48.6% freed Eric. Yeah, see, that was a bit of a close close percentage, you know. Uh, Could have gone either way, really, there. You and 69.1% picked Duncan. Yeah, because, I mean, Sir Roland was a piece of shit. And uh, you and 49.9% met Ramsey at the gate. So that was a pretty even choice as well. But uh, I think we uh, we didn't do too bad. We were a piece of shit. But we still got some decent outcomes other than, you know, a few deaths here and there. But uh, yeah, no, nah, we're pretty good. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have made it this far, guys, go down to the comments below. Say, dis Ethan, D-I-S, Ethan. And then that way I know, I mean, I don't expect many people to watch this far, but if you guys have, I just want you guys to know from me personally, I really appreciate you guys spending the time watching these videos. Like honestly, it means the absolute world to me. I don't want to get insane views or anything, but you know, you guys, I do it for you guys. So uh, yeah, now nah, I really appreciate you guys. So yeah, guys, the next episode should be dropping on the same day as the new Game of Thrones episode on TV. It is the season finale this week, so I want to be sure I drop this episode then. So after you watch the season finale, you can uh, go and watch this new Telltale episode. The show this season uh, has been great. I'm really loving season seven. By far the best season. Um, I'm really curious to see how it wraps up next season, but uh, yeah. So yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe for more Game of Thrones, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.